I'm sorry to say, children, I have shocking news. Tomorrow, the school inspector will carry out a thorough inspection of our school. I have to inform you, if he fails us, they will close the school down. Uh, don't cry, Dennis. I'm sure it won't come to that. Oh, these are tears of joy, Curly. Tears of pure joy. Don't you see what this means? School's out forever. All if it fails the inspection. Oh, it's gonna fail, all right, Pie Face. <laughs> this calls for an extraordinary menace meeting. Usual time and place. So, I've been doing my homework. Ha! <laughs> How often do we hear that? This man holds the key to our happiness. I give you the school inspector. Hello, my name is Derek Pencils, school inspector, but you can call me <laughs> the Closinator. I have closed 30 schools in four years, and that is a record. <laughs> 30 schools? Give that man a medal. Watch out, or I might close your school and all. <laughs> I looked him up online. Derek Pencils is totally hardcore. He believes in punctual, polite pupils, clean classrooms, and outstanding academic achievement. Wow, everything Beano Town School doesn't have. <laughs> it's definitely gonna fail. Yeah, definitely. But let's give it an extra nudge anyway, just to make sure. What'll happen to the school after they close it? I heard they're gonna turn it into a flopping great fun fair. <laughs> Yeah, in your dreams, Curly. Just think, this time tomorrow, school will be a bad memory. <sighs> Today is do or die day, Dennis, so I'm giving the school a lick of paint. What's a helping hand, sir? <laughs> and fall foul of your pranking ways? Not likely. But, sir, this is the school's hour of need. We're here to help. Yeah, make the day run smoothly. See, it all goes to plan, sir. Hmm, maybe I've misjudged you, boys. All right, you're on Operation SOS. Save our school. You can lend a helping hand. Hooray! <laughs> so this is Beano Town School. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, Mr. Pencils. <laughs> I smell closure. Oh, it's probably just the drains. <laughs> Can I interest you in a cup of tea? A, a small digestive on the side, perhaps? Why not? Closing schools is thirsty work. Brew up, headmaster. We'll suck to the demise of Beano Town School. Too teas, eh? Time for phase one, Curly. The mighty wind. Two teas coming up. To my office, then. Lead on, Macduff. Right. <laughs> Who's Macduff? This is going to be easy. Right, phase two. Enter the grasshopper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grasshopper's primed and ready to hop. <laughs> Water, milk, tea, fart powder. Yeah. Fart powder, fart powder, fart powder. <laughs> Closing skills makes me feel good. You know what I mean, Detester? Makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. And I don't mind telling you that this school has closure written all over it. Punctuality, cleanliness, orderly classrooms. That's what I look for. And most importantly, good manners. What have you got to say to that, detester? <laughs> Goodness gracious, man! I am most terribly sorry. Disgustingly flatulent headmaster. <laughs> oh, right. Suppose you better show me around this school. <laughs> Aha! Phase three. School runs half an hour late. Now for phase four. A good dollop of slime. Today's lesson, the animal kingdom. Open your books, please. Yeah! Unless my ears deceive me, that sounds very much like... Anarchy, Headmaster. We prefer to call it bringing the wild into the classroom. Say that again. This is not looking good, Headmaster. And that's 
school bell is late. <laughs> Mr Pencil? Mr Pencil! I would like to address the entire school in the school hall. Now! A flatulent headmaster, mm -hmm. chaotic classrooms and slovenly punctuality. What next, I wonder? I'll tell you what next. It's slime time! <laughs> this school has failed the inspection. After I've signed off the paperwork, Beano Town School will be closed forever. Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! We did it! <laughs> Gentlemen, this has been the menace to end all menaces! Ha-ha! <laughs> Three house in one hour. Time to start plotting the rest of our lives. We're sorry about the school, Dennis. Sorry? It's brilliant! <laughs> uh, I mean, no, you're right. It's, um, terrible. Too right it's terrible. You'll never guess what I've just heard. in the school free lane. <laughs> Pinch me. I must be dreaming. This isn't a dream. It's a nightmare. After Beano Town School closes, we're all going to be sent to Drano Town School. Uh, not Drano Town School. What have we done? We have to make the inspector change his mind. Hey, but how? It's impossible. Yes. Yes, this is. Yes, this. Necessarily, Curly. <laughs> we think we might have found a way to save the school, sir. <laughs> Nasha? He's a bona fide genius. He's a dog. He's indognito, disguised as. Toot toot! <laughs> right, sign here and the real fun begins. Oh, Mr. School Inspector, what if we showed you that this school harboured a budding mastermind? Uh, naturally, if such talent came forward, I might reconsider. Introducing Beano Town's star pupil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here. Lead on, Macduff. Who's Macduff? I have no idea. <laughs> Excellent at archaeology, which, as everyone knows, is the art of digging up bones. <laughs> Not bad, eh? A lucky fluke. We've also got the best football team in Beano Town. <laughs> 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 But I do like using my bulldozer. And anyway, these aren't core subjects. You're right. But our star pupil also happens to be a genius at maths. Oh, my favourite subject. Very well. If he can beat me at maths, I'll tear up the closure form myself. Bet you didn't think I was going to say that, did you? I'll use my calculator. And he'll use these. What, sausages? Is this a joke? Genius moves in mysterious ways. Question one. Two plus two. That's easy. It's four. <laughs> uh, next question. Einstein's theory of general relativity states E equals MC... <laughs> So fast. I came here to close a school. I don't like to go home without a bit of rubble on my fingertips. One final question. History. Who was the famous architect of the Regency period? John? That's what I thought. I'm going back to fire up my bulldozer and I'm taking these sausages with me. Nash! Huh? John Nash is the right answer. I will be back. We did it! <laughs> Nasha did it! <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thanks to you, Beano Town School won't have to be turned into a whopping great fun fair. A whopping great fun fair? What have we done? <laughs> That's <laughs> Another one for 
your world-class bone collection. <laughs> <laughs> Good, you're both here. I was just about to tell Nasher it's time he got rid of these. Nash? No way, not the bones! Oh! There are several well-regarded blogs about Nasher's impressive collection. The largest bone ever procured from a Northern Hemisphere takeaway. Mmm, Nasher! Obscenely large wishbone doubling as a powerful menace catapult. <laughs> eh? Speaks for itself, really. Oh, very impressive. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to start a blog about my garden. But... No buts. This back garden is a bone-free zone. And that's final. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Operation Bone Transplant is go! We need ideas now! Nash's bones need a new home. We could start a touring xylophone ensemble. <laughs> Anything else? Or sneak them into an everyday domestic setting? <laughs> uh, no, what we need is an all-new bone zone. Somewhere Nasha can access any time of day. It's somewhere we can keep an eye on things. Ah, genius wears a striped jumper. That's the last of them. Nice digging, Nasha. <laughs> well, I huh? never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Dennis, at school on a Saturday? <laughs> Don't tell me you're here for the lecture. Lecture? Putting the fun in quantum physics? Well, actually, Walter, we were uh, up to something I should be reporting to the headmaster. Oh, Dennis, Curly and Pieface. <laughs> Joining us for some extracurricular learning, I see. Uh... It for the world. <laughs> Come on, Walter. FYI, Dennis, that is no fun in quantum physics. We gotta do what we gotta do to protect Nash's precious bones. Oh. Huh. Oh. 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 I think I need a lie down. Well, anything to keep your bones safe, Nasha. <laughs> Nash, Nash. <laughs> I never thought subatomic particles could be so side-splittingly funny. It was like a comedy club with learning. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ouch. <gasps> what on earth have we got here? Fetch me a paleontologist. Post haste. Spend a bit of quality time with your bones while we're in class, Nasha. Nash, Nash! Uh-oh! Looks like you got company, Nasha! <laughs> and that, I presume, is the dorsal vertebrae? Yes, indeed it is, my boy! A mighty fine specimen! Good show, Dr. Paleo. I'm certainly glad we called a professional. <laughs> what is that? That, my boy, is the world's first mutton bovine poultry thorus. I prefer Waltosaurus. Mutton bovine poultry thorus. I like Waltosaurus. We you like, like Waltosaurus. Ah. How about your old Notsosaurus? These aren't dinosaur bones. The Nashes! Preposterous, young man! Why, the dog would simply collapse like a moist towel without bones! Uh, not Nash's actual bones, his world class collection! What kind of dinosaur wears a bow tie anyway? <clears throat> Hands up all the qualified paleontologists present! Hmm? Anybody? I, I know my hand is up! No? No? That's what I thought! 
Dr. Paleo, Dennis is just peeved that he wasn't the one to make the archaeological find of the century. It was, in fact, for the record, me! Bravo, Walter! Jolly good! Bravo, Walter! These bones belong to science now. They're going on a round-the-world tour as soon as I have them assembled. And when will that be? Tomorrow! <laughs> what? And don't even think about any funny business, Dennis. The Waltosaurus will be the most closely guarded skeleton in Beanotown. <laughs> Gentlemen, I give you the second most closely guarded skeleton in Beanotown. The T-Rex at the museum. If they want a dinosaur to take on tour, we will give them one. Nash, nash! Are you ready to make menacing history? Nasha! Let's make many history! Then phase two of Operation Bone Transplant begins. Meet tomorrow before school at the museum. <laughs> An actual dino! Curly! Pie face! Grab Nasha! <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. Need this one as is. Nash! Let's get this dinosaur mobile! to move this to the dig site before they ship out Nash's collection from Bingo Town for good. Nash, Nash, Nash. All right, let's get going. Who's there? Uh, nobody. What are you doing down there? Hmm? Oh, just helping out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you missed a bit, Nasha. Nash, Nash, Nash. Hmm, I see. Oh, well. <sighs> so, anyone got any idea how to assemble this thing? Town. This is a proud day indeed. Beano Town's first ever dinosaur is about to go on a round the world tour. Do you think they'll notice the difference? <gasps> what? <gasps> no! That's no Waltosaurus. My expert eye tells me these are not even dinosaur bones. <laughs> what do we do, Doctor? <laughs> Smile for the cameras, my boy. Uh, hello! Smile and hope nobody notices. But... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of Beanotown, I give to you the Mutton Bovine Poultry Forum! <laughs> 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 Dad said the back garden was a bone-free zone, but he never said anything about the front garden. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, Dad. This hole's earmarks for Nash's bones. Dennis! Hey? Eh? <laughs> Get me out of here! Looks like Dad's got a bone to pick with you, Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
right, my chilli, miss. The secret's my extra hot peppers. Stand back, spoon lickers. I need all these for my pasta salad. Hello, Walter. Oh, you nearly peeled him! Presentation for key to one. Tossed salad? You are both banned from food tech and I am sending letters to your parents. A letter to my parents? It's an outrage. I'll go to the headmaster, to the school board, to the prime minister. You'll go to detention if you don't stop making a fuss. <laughs> Mom, letter for you from school. Oh, put it with the others. <laughs> What's that, Walter? Did you win another prize? No, Father. This letter marks the darkest hour in my thus far illustrious school career. Walter has been banned from food tech due to his misbehaviour. Misbehaviour? Impossible! I'll go to Mr Detesta, to the school board, to the Prime Minister! That's what I said, but I was threatened with uh, detention. Even though it was all Dennis's fault. Hmm. Then let's invite Dennis and his parents for dinner so we can talk about this. What? Bring a menace into our domestic paradise? And while they're here, we can make Dennis admit that he's guilty and that Walter is innocent. <laughs> dinner at Walter's house? But it'll be boring and no fun. And did I mention boring? Just get ready while I deal with your father. Dinner at Walter's house, but it'll be boring. Whoopee cushion, pea shooter, itching powder, dribble glass, green soap. Maybe this will be fun after all. Nash, 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 nash! playing together and getting on. Which brings us to why we asked you here tonight. We wanted to clear the air after that spot of trouble in food tech. Oh, well, you know what boys are like. I know what Dennis is like, but Walter would never cause trouble. I mean, look at all his awards. <laughs> And this one's for his Grade 5 performance on the Fijian nose flute. Dennis has certificates too. Well, letters from the police, anyway. Dribble glasses, go! <laughs> well, Walter never causes trouble. Well, that doesn't mean Dennis made the mess in food tech. <laughs> oh, honestly, Dennis? Well, it's a good job I bought one of B's bottles. <laughs> Cool. You got any games? I don't have games. I only use the computer for homework. Time for some extra hard sums, I think. 
Time for some good old itching powder, I think. <laughs> 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 just want Dennis to admit it was his fault. I've drafted a confession for, I, I mean, a statement for him to sign. We're not signing anything. Aha! Uh -huh. I see where he gets it from. No discipline. That's why your boy's a menace. Well, your boy has no fun. That's why he's a telltale. Look at all the pranks Dennis was planning. See? <laughs> Dennis is clearly the troublemaker. Now, about that confession. No. I'll prove Dennis can behave. But do you have the guts to misbehave? Well, why would he want to do that? Dennis will behave during dinner. I will. There's an afternoon at Beano Town Fair in it for you. I will. But I dare you to pull a prank <gasps> and not get caught. Don't be absurd. I'm not doing that. I'll do it too. And loser takes the blame for what happened in food tech. <laughs> Unless you're chicken. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All you have to do is put a pair of sunglasses on one of the Colonel's garden gnomes. I'll go first. I don't get it. What's the point? <sighs> if you have to ask, you'll never understand. Loose flagstone, three steps from the door, quickest escape is over the hedge, watch out for the garden hose. Man. Uh, um, uh, good evening, the Colonel. I was just uh, admiring your roses. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen it. He got caught. We win. No, that was only half the bet. Dennis still has to behave all the way through dinner. We're about to eat, Sarah. The boys should wash their hands. But I don't want to wash my hands. Remember, being all town fair. Fine, I'll wash my hands. My green soap! They're trying to frame me! Ah, look, look! Trick soap! Dennis is pulling a prank, you lose! No, no, uh, that's not a prank, that's a, a special seaweed skincare soap. Right, Dennis? <laughs> Quite an improvement! <gasps> my pea shooter! My whoopee cushion! My itching powder! Remember, no tricks, pranks, or menacing of any kind. <gasps> Must resist pranks. Enjoy the food, it's organic. Peers, dinners. Well, this is nice, and maybe I was wrong. Dennis is behaving. Yeah, so should all come over again next week. And the week after that. And after that. And after that. And after that. Yeah! I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Dennis! And for my grand finale! Ha-ha! You lose! He used the pea shooter, the itching powder, and the whoopee cushion. That wasn't the whoopee cushion. It was organic. <laughs> all in all, not a bad evening. Although I reckon I'm still in big trouble about food tech. And I'm in big trouble at home. You can forget about an afternoon at being old town fair. Too right. We're taking you there for the whole day. What? Oh, I couldn't stand another minute of Walter and his family showing off. And if it wasn't for your menacing, we'd still be over there. Well, Mum, genius wears a strike jumper. <laughs> Menaces, 
time for a day off school. Got the stink stench, Curly? Cheek! Essence of cabbage, cauliflower, bees nappies, rotten fish and ben juice. <laughs> Let's wear this on ourselves and nobody will want us in their classroom. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Dennis! Oops. Ooh. Finish cleaning Mr. Detester's car. I even cleaned the inside. The inside? Oh, 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 oh. What's going on, Curly? Let's take a kid to work day. I'm going to a games factory. Avatar analyst. And I'm going to the mayor's office for the day. The mayor's office? You want to be mayor? Not me, Paul. He wants to go into politics. He'll be president one day, and I'll be his official pie taster. Headmaster's assistant, yes! <laughs> A whole extra day in school. <laughs> Beano Town Police Department? Me? Daddy! Jet pilot. Sorry, Angel Face, but uh, uh, ooh, under the circumstances, we thought you might suit something a little more outdoors. Uh, how about postal officer? What? Good morning, Mr. Postman Girl. Lovely day, isn't it? It. What is that smell? <sighs> What's wrong with you? Oh, just a deadly Amazonian virus. I couldn't possibly go to work. Cough. Ah, ah, oh, disgusting. <laughs> All better. Enjoy your day. Aha, they've nabbed the little blighter at last. Ben, this calls for a celebration. I'll get the ginger nut biscuits. Sergeant Tinkle, you get the fizzy pop. <laughs> Any trouble in Beano Town? A trouble-free day is a good day for a police officer, Dennis. This is so boring. Right, Nasha? <laughs> what? Huh? What? No, oh, Dennis, no. There's no dogs allowed here. But Nasha's my police dog, Sergeant. <laughs> Nasha, Nasha! Calling Sergeant Slipper. We have a situation in Beano Town Park. Roger, on my way. My name's not Roger. Out. Okay, not Roger, out. We're on our ways. Yes! Start the siren! Woohoo! Lesson one. We don't use the noise light unless it's an emergency. <laughs> hold on, wait, wait for me. Where's my badge? Constable Menace and police dog Nasha. Nasha! What's the situation? Sorry, take a kid to work day. I got Dennis. <gasps> work! Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, you strange hooded figure, put your hands up! <laughs> it's just a garden gnome. It's not even stuck on properly. Amateur. <laughs> Hold on, this is Mum's gnome. How'd it get here? Hmm. Because you put it here, most likely. Right. Let me just get my pencil out and my pad. OK, where were you in the early hours of the morning, Dennis? No, hang on. No, this wasn't me. I'd have used my own special formula medis glue. Hmm. It's clear we're dealing with a master prankster. What? It's just gnoming. Gnoming? Yeah, taking gnomes and putting them in funny places. I was doing that before I could walk. Uh... Hey, I always put them back. Urgent call from the mayor's office. Report of a gnome theft. <sighs> On our way. Hey, I was going to say that. <laughs> yes, Mr. Mayor, sir, Mayor. That gnome is a scrimp family heirloom. I must get him back. <laughs> hey, pie face. How's your job going? <laughs> oh, oh, it's a lot of work, but. I'm getting through it. Here he is. Oh, that's just Paul. Hey, that's enough of your naughty tricks, mister. No way for a president to behave. Huh? Slipper, why haven't you arrested anyone yet? I have a suspect under surveillance right now. Huh? That's not good enough.
enough, Slipper. What you need is someone who can get into the mind of a master prankster, who, who can anticipate their every move and keep us one step ahead so that we can catch him. Yes, but who? Who, I say? Whom? Huh? Huh? Huh. Oh, right. I'll need my crack team. But may a scrimp. Dennis can't be trusted. He and his friends are probably responsible. Exactly. And if he didn't do it, he better find out who did. And if he doesn't find out who did it, then he'll get the blame for doing it. Nash! Calling all units. Calling all units. Come in. Reports of gnomes all over Beano Town. Let's go. Let's go. Dennis, stop stealing my lines. Hey, are you crossing or not? Yes. <laughs> Ah, Walter, why don't I show you how to use the PA system? No, oh, gnomes, we're being attacked. <laughs> okay, Sergeant, let's take a look at the evidence. Right, we've sent soil samples to the lab to trace where the gnomes have come from. It'll take up to three weeks. Nah, we've got our own lab, the Abyssinian Tripound Lab. Do these gnomes match all the missing gnome reports, Curly? Well, it appears so. Dennis's house. Mayor Scrimp? Ah! Uh, oh! Mrs. Miggins, Mrs. Creature, Auntie Beryl. Can you verify that police dog, Nasher? <laughs> Nasher! The whole town's been gnomed. Everyone except the Colonel. But he's got the largest collection of garden gnomes in town. Exactly. Time to pay him a little visit. Yes, I heard the reports on my electric radio. So I ordered my men into the bunker until reinforcements arrived. Seen anyone suspicious lurking around, Colonel? Well, only that hoodlum next door. Wait, that's you. Sergeant, arrest this blatherskite. Oh, sorry, Colonel. The blatherskite's with me. Special constables. So, Colonel, we're going to need two of your most able gnomes. Official police business. Oh, right, yes, of course. Ha! Corporal <laughs> Tinkle and Lieutenant Sprout reporting for duty. Do me proud, men. We've got a tracking device on this gnome. <laughs> and Nasha will be able to follow this one. Nasha! Time for Operation Oh Gnome You Don't! Right, everyone, the bait is planted. Stay quiet and still, and the gnome napper will walk straight into our trap. <laughs> Who's for bangers and bees? What are you doing, Colonel? We're off surveillance. Hmm. A medal for supplying rations to a covert operation. <sighs> the gnomes are on the move. <gasps> They've gone to the wheels. <laughs> Where to, Curly? near Mrs. Megan's house. We're about to go fast. Buckle up. And now we saw the road like ground eagles. Follow those gnomes! <laughs> Second gear. Third. Yeah, we're cooking. Oh, uh, is there a cereal bar in the back? It stopped right here. Uh, <laughs> uh, but where are the gnomes? <laughs> Well, there's Sprout. Well, where's Tinkle? Oh, poo. What's that smell? It's like cabbage, cauliflower... Bees, nappies, rotten fish. And bin juice. <gasps> Angel face! <laughs> well, if it isn't Constable Menace. It was you! Pretty impressive prank, Angel Face. But you're no match for a genius in a striped jumper. You're right, Dennis. You are the master prankster, not me. Ah, uh, Angel Face? You? It can't be! That's right, Sergeant. I did it. I'm flabbergasted. Uh, yes, right then. But it wasn't my fault. It was Dennis. He made me do it. Dennis! Right. Come with me. Nash? I knew it was you all along. I've got a nose for these things, you know. Well, you and your nose are going to have to catch me first.
dog. Fake puke, plastic or rubber? Plastic. Oh, yes! Go, Team Menace! <laughs> Three large pepperonis, please. Deep filled, extra everything. <laughs> Pizza's off. Huh? Walter? Where's good old Brenda? Oh, good old Brenda will be absent for a few days. As a consequence, the headmaster has afforded me the opportunity to elevate nutritional standards at our beloved school. Huh? Pizza's off. Two bits of lettuce and a broad bean. I don't even like broad beans. Who does, Curly? Another pie crumb, anyone? Look at us. Scavenging in school bags for scraps. Ooh, breadstick. Oh, oh, pencil. Kids like us need real food. And if we got to make with some serious menacing to get it, that's an added bonus. So there I was, helping the family of hedgehogs across the autobahn. But with my nutritionally balanced menu, pupils would benefit from an immediate improvement. Do your worst, B. Along with a 9% reduction in their tendency to be irritating, smelly little oiks. Nine <laughs> percent? You are clever, Walter. <laughs> Come, sir, observe. <laughs> He threw up in my chef's hat, then he fired me. And goodness knows who will get to do tomorrow's school lunch. Hello, sir. My Auntie Beryl does catering. Nutritious, delicious dinners? Yeah, why not give her a call? Bye! Hello? Yes, this is Auntie Beryl's catering service. <laughs> Let's go serve up some fun. Lovely! Who's for pizza? <laughs> We're running out of mash. <laughs> sir, sir, those dinner ladies, they're imposters. It's Dennis. What? Don't be so silly, Walter. It's his Auntie Beryl. But, sir, look. <laughs> Ooh. 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 One of them is a dog. Oh, Walter. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Um... Nasha, Nasha, Nash? Ah, yes. Uh, Mrs. Um, Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Walter, lots of elderly ladies grow a few whiskers. Don't be so rude. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, I thought Walter's head was going to explode. <laughs> Hi, Auntie Beryl's catering here. Tomorrow's order is six bags of potatoes. Oh, gee, that ball. A family reunion. Forty packs of fish fingers. Fifty large pies. 150 very large. Make that 150 very large pies. And 227 sausages. Nash. Sorry, 228. Thank you. Hello. This is Auntie Beryl's catering again. I'd like to change tomorrow's lunch order. What? There's been a mistake. No mistake, doll. Two tons of ice cream in one unfeasibly giant scoop. Ta-da! 
<laughs> Excellent. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Auntie Beryl, I've just had today's lunch order. Two tons of ice cream. Ice cream? No, 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 no ice cream here. Not a single scoop. I'm coming right over. And what's all this about? <gasps> Half a ton of live lobsters? My face. Diversion, if you please. Hello. Have you met Paul the potato? He's having his nap. <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Dennis, please tell me we are not selling cans of raspberry rocket! <laughs> Stuff's full of sugar! Kids go hyper! Good hyper or bad hyper? Disaster hyper! Um, everyone, whatever you do, do not under any circumstances drink this! <laughs> Get rid of this stuff! OK, see ya! Really, I didn't order any of those things! OK, I'm back! You get rid of it? Yeah! Where? Oh, I dumped it in that big bin with a picture of a lobster on it! Cool! Now, you what? Sorry to trouble you again, Auntie Beryl, but uh, the school food inspector has turned up. Uh, he wants to, um... What is it you want to do again? Inspect the school food, obviously. Everything is all right, isn't it? <laughs> yes! Everything's fine! Curly, Nasha, you've got to delay this inspector guy! <laughs> OK. All we got to do is calm everyone down and get rid of an army of hyper lobsters. Can't be that hard. <laughs> Listen up, you lot! Everybody got to chill right now or else! <laughs> well, she's not our usual dinner lady, but... <laughs> Herbal tea. Brilliant, eh? Now... We just need to... Sorry. All gone. <laughs> and then there's Mrs. Nasher, Nasher, Nash. Lovely lady, but don't mention the beer. <laughs> Golly, hello, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> 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 OK. Plan D and G it is. Just change suck to blow. This ought to cool everyone down. Water? Disguise? Rubbish. Timing? Perfect. Walter! I can explain! Oh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Two lettuce leaves and a broad bean. Next! Great to have you back, Brenda.
<laughs> Chin up, Nasha. We'll buy you a new drum kit. This is exactly what the Din Makers Emergency Fund is for. What's in the kitty, Curly? Uh, two fruit gums and a potato. <gasps> Paul, that's where you've been. <laughs> oh, I love you. Just tell us what we can afford. <laughs> That's all we can afford? What are we going to do? What's that, Paul? Why don't we enter tonight's Bean Old Town Battle of the Bands competition and win a brand new drum kit for Nasha? See poster window for detail. What are you on about, Pie Face? There's no poster in the. <gasps> the Bean Old Town Battle of the Bands competition! Brilliant! Well done, Paul. Never ending on and on and on. Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> and there it is, boys. First prize. <laughs> so, who are we up against then, Mr. Mayor? Um, so far, just Walter. <laughs> on and on and on. <laughs> boys, something tells me this one is in the bag. Just filling the entry form. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Mayor. Must I really remind you of page 12, paragraph 6, clause 28 of the competition rules? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Actually, yes, I have no idea what it is. All competing acts must include at least one adult, a rule which clearly renders the din makers ineligible for this competition. Hang on, you don't have an adult. Sorry I'm late, Walter. Me didgeridoo was out of tune. So, Dennis, unless you can recruit a grown-up to join your pathetic excuse for a band by tonight, I suggest you tootle off home and play with your catapult. Two, three, four. Never ending. What are we going to do, Dennis? Chill, Pie Face. All we got to do is find ourselves a grown-up dim maker, and I know just the person. So, we thought you could be the lead singer. What do you think, Gran? Singer in a band, eh? And I thought Supply Zookeeper was a cool job. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, boys? <laughs> Two, three, four! <laughs> <laughs> Home, now! Oh, I'm so sorry, Dennis. I'm sure you'll find someone else. Yeah, but who? We're the Din Makers. We need somebody wild, someone who's a real animal. Where are we going to find someone like that? Ah, <sighs> homeward, lads. No, I thought you locked it. We'll do it now, before any of them escape. We must know some grown-up who could be our lead singer. The Colonel? Too balmy. Mrs Creature? Too scary. Charles Dickens? Too... um... dead. More biscuits, lads. Take a break, eh? Not easy finding yourself a lead singer. <laughs> and I should know, back when I was lead singer with Snot Bazooka, all the other punk bands, they would be begging me to be their uh, lead singer. <gasps> of course! It's been staring us in the face all along. <gasps> Mum, she'd be brilliant. Oh, dream on, Dennis. Dad, I need you in the kitchen and get changed at once. You look like an idiot. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> huh? Eh? Where'd all the biscuits go? Oh, the gorilla at them. All oh, right. Eh? 
We'd better call the zoo, Dennis. They'll come and collect them. Or we don't, on account of genius wearing a striped jumper. Stop! Stop! No more practicing! There are no other entrants! I'm cancelling the competition! Just please stop! So, what you're really saying is that, as per Rule 68, Paragraph 12, Clause 8, we win by default, yes? Yes, fine, all right, whatever. Just take the drums and go. Golly, we won something. Mother will be so proud. <laughs> Pause off, boys. <laughs> this show ain't over. Meet the newest member of the Din Makers. Hello. He's big, he's bad, and he's totally a grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I suspected. Bite radius, saliva samples, trajectory of peeling motion, there can be no doubt. Whatever ate this banana was not a grown up human man. <laughs> the end. We are Walter and the Whalers. Thank you, Beano Town, and good night. This is going to be one. Epic walkover. Okay, boys, dog, gorilla, potato, let's go rock the house! <laughs> How many times, Bill? You're the one meant to lock it, not me. I'm... <laughs> Let's go to work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hurry! No! <laughs> Gentlemen, it is my sad duty to bring to your attention a most cruel and shocking deception. This man is not a man. <laughs> Since the din makers have no adult human in their ranks, I demand they be immediately disqualified. Oh. You see, boys, everything exactly as planned. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, this is not good. Play! If we can get them gorillas dancing again, we can stop this. <laughs> Battle of the Band's first prize. Dennis and the Din Makers, featuring Dad. That's my boy. Hmm, maybe it's his technique. 